quarantine time. Hi guys, I'm Foxtail. Welcome again back here uh, in the channel that I upload once a year. As you can see, this is kind of a different place than I usually am. You're right. This is a new apartment which we are making into a workshop, but at the moment when there's a virus, uh, I am here totally alone in quarantine. I decided that this time of year, which is not very fun, uh, it's a great opportunity to finish the projects that uh, you never finished. Cha ching And this was not planned, but the project <laughs> that I want to finish and do is Ellie from Last of Us. What a coincidence! End of the world! Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be more like uh, of a closet cosplay because I cheated. Everything's... Uh, the situation, okay, the situation here is like this. Everything, every stores except for uh, food and medical supplies are closed, nothing is working, uh, you should not leave outside. So I cheated a little bit because this project was planned like uh, a year ago. I went to a secondhand store and I bought all of these items and I believe all of my items in the second-hand store cost me around 11 euros. Uh, yeah, I think this... Sh I remember this shirt was like 3 euros or maybe less, maybe... I really don't remember, but it was like a few euros. I got this, this shirt, I think this one was like 5 euro. Um, I washed it all, it's ready to be done. Uh, it has a few details I will need to change, we're gonna look into that. And then I have black jeans, which are a little bit too big for me, but it's not a problem because I can wear a belt and the clothes are down here. And so, yeah, um, now these spots, I did them um, um, accidentally. Uh, this is gonna be blood and dirt, so, so we gotta go with that. Uh, yeah, and it's just a normal, regular pair of pretty good jeans. I think it was like 5 euros, somewhere around. So yeah, let's uh, start with this. Okay, so let's look at what we have. Uh, we have the shirt. The thing is that I don't like about this, it has these kind of sleeves. It's supposed to be a cut sleeve, but I started taking this thing off and I saw that this one uh, has like a, a, a corner which I was very happy with because the sleeves are actually longer than they are and I don't have to cut it so and they're not soon so it will be very easy to destroy the edge. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do, do is just take this off with this thing and yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so I took off the sleeve and it looks like this, which is totally fine. We're gonna fix this. Uh, so now what I did, I actually did it already on a half of a shirt. Uh, I already damaged half of the shirt uh, very, very much like it's been worn for many years to many places because you don't have a lot to choose from there so what I did is I took this wood carving tool which is sharp but it's not too sharp to like cut it like see it's not um, so yeah, find something that is like maybe a scissors if you don't have anything else, maybe some kind of uh, other object, but if it's sharp, but not sharp to cut the fabric, this is gonna work very, very well. Also I have the pliers, uh, this is gonna help to save our fingertips. We can do the same with our fingertips if you don't have the pliers, but yeah, good luck with that. And then I'm gonna need uh, this tool yet again. Okay, so what I do is 
I take this tool and I make a tiny tiny hole but don't scratch it like all the way through uh, all the way through fa fabric uh, no that's that's not gonna work mm, it's 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 an easier way but it's not gonna look as realistic uh, so yeah I just take like a little bit and then up and then I take elsewhere just a little bit pull it another place just a little bit pull it as you can see it's already starting to shred but only in a tiny tiny places I just do this where I think that there would be the most most damage then I take pliers and I just pull it pull with the whole fabric now don't pull it too hard don't scratch it like to rip it apart I accidentally did this in here <laughs> um you can do this in some places but not everywhere and now do this to all of the things where you think you need this yeah good luck with that the second thing I do is I take this tool and then just like move the fabric scratch it and move it but not too much try not to cut it through because eventually you're gonna go through the fabric with this but try not to practice on something else if you need to <clears throat> you can see it's already getting some some damage and try not to scratch it like everywhere like this if you don't need it just try to focus on the spots that kind of uh, would wear the most like here and that's it I'm just leaving it like that uh, now for the pockets I did a bit more damage on the pockets also with this and like this now if you go stronger you're gonna get a much more harsh result yeah and here, here we go so yeah do this for the whole shirt and good luck Now, this is kind of the last thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna, especially the back, uh, I'm gonna put it on a chair, I'm gonna take a sanding sponge, and I'm gonna like, try to sand it a little bit. Okay, so this is also kind of funny, but the last step, uh, put the shirt on yourself, like I did, they're damaged, and what I did is I take like my body parts or the parts that I know that are gonna be touching surfaces the most, and just go this. So, uh, it will look definitely older. So yeah, I think we're done here and we should not go further because that's gonna be a bit too much. So now the jeans. This will do. 
So yeah, I just did a very tiny split on a neck with a few few pieces. I'm gonna do maybe a tiny split in here. Just very tiny ones. It's like, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but there's uh, a bugs that eat fabrics. Um, they're very, very, very annoying. So this is kind of like a similar damage, like the bug ate it a little bit. Okay, so we have the, like a full outfit, which is damaged with all, everything. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into a washing machine. Or why into a washing machine and not just make it dirty? It's because when we damage the fabric, we freaked out it a little bit and we need help to make it look more natural. And we're gonna help it look more natural with washing it with a washing machine. Ah, what a surprise. Okay, so see you next day. Now we're gonna do uh, the weathering wash. Uh for the costume and it's pretty simple we're gonna need uh, cups bigger smaller uh, depends on how much you need we're gonna need some black tea I'm using four packs coffee um, real coffee would be better but I only have instant coffee and salt So five minutes passed and now I'm gonna add a generous amount of salt. I'm not gonna count by spoons. Well, salt is gonna help our liquids to keep inside the fabric and not wash out in a while. Now we're gonna leave it to cool for an hour or somewhere like that. So it's uh, next day! Hi! Time flies very very fast. So as you can see after washing it in a uh, uh, washing machine <clears throat> we get more like a more realistic look, not so stretched out after destroying the fabric and stuff like that. So okay, I have my uh, mixture of a wash, uh, this is a tea, I have a sponge sponge and some spray bottle with water so i'm gonna spray the fabric and i'm gonna apply the tea mixture just randomly and because the fabric is dark don't be afraid that it's going to the other side if you don't need it then put something in between uh, like a paper or something like that, but because I'm just destroying the shirt It doesn't doesn't really matter After everything is dry I can clearly see where the stains are and I can do another layer and another layer mixing a coffee mix with a tea mix together to make it darker or in places even lighter and the only thing I have to do is just add more and that's it. Okay, so when everything is dry uh, and very very looks dirty and strongly smells like coffee, I think it's done. Uh, I kind of like it the way it is. I'm gonna stop right here except I'm gonna add some blood stains and maybe a little bit of brown dark shadows. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm using very very old 
very very rough uh, brushes and I mix some of the more like a not a fresh blood color but like a old dirty blood color and I'm gonna use that color just to add on some spots and also I'm gonna use uh, spray water and maybe blend some of the colors inside into the fabric okay so let's just do it So yeah, after adding a few blood stains and some additional brown stains, this is what we have. I actually really enjoy making this costume. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Now, information about shoes. I didn't do much. I am a lazy person. I don't wash my shoes. So the only thing I did, is, uh, I just wore them every day and didn't wash them. And after that, just add a few blood stains. Let's imagine that. And for the next video, if you want to know how I styled Ellie's wig and made the cheap generic Ellie lace front wig into something a bit more realistic, uh, subscribe maybe and see you next time.